God's word in our hearts and minds so that we can be overcomers. We can live a victorious life. And Jesus had the word of God in his heart and mind. And when he was tempted in Matthew chapter 4, tempted by the evil one, Jesus used the word of God that he had kept in his mind to overcome the enemy. Overcome the enemy. And we need to hide the word of God in our hearts as much as possible. From Genesis to Revelation, there are wonderful promises given. Hide these promises in your heart. And these promises would help you in your tough moments, would help you in your sickness, would help you in your struggle, would help you in your trouble. Use the word of God to handle every situation. Use the word of God. God has given us 66 books, Genesis to Revelation, 66 books so that we can read, meditate and hide in our hearts. And one of the Bible verses that I have memorized, Philippians chapter 2 verse 14. Do everything without complaining or arguing or murmuring. This is one of the verses I have memorized. Do everything without complaining or arguing. Dear brother sisters, says this is one of the evidences of Thanksgiving life. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Now, we all have something to complain. We all have something to murmur in our homes, in our personal lives. And we all have something to give thanks to God. Now, what do we practice? Do we practice 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, which says, give thanks in Without, I'm not saying that you should not complain in our life. 
like sometimes yes but this should not be our lifestyle our lifestyle should be thanksgiving yes sometimes you know like with good intention we tell that's different i'm not talking about that i'm not talking about the super no i'm talking about lifestyle that paul is talking about your lifestyle must be thanksgiving not always complaining arguing murmuring drinks and complaining is a sin of the tongue we read in exodus chapter 16 verse 8 the bible is full of complainers full of complainers the first grumbler was adam when adam said god asked adam i asked you not to eat that fruit why did you eat what he said lord i am sorry please forgive me i want to have a thankful heart please forgive me lord i don't want to blame my wife she is a wonderful lady i don't know why she committed that mistake i should not have listened to her it was my mistake lord not her mistake such a beautiful lady you have given me hello the first grumbler ah huh? god can you say it again why did i eat that fruit <laughs> you can't this lady you you are the cause and now you are asking me why did i eat you can't this lady and i ask for this did i ask i need a lady i want to get married and you brought her to me and this stupid lady hmm, she gave me the fruit i ate first come there dear friends he could have just said not sorry i ate lord forgive me the people of israel trembled 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 they complain we read in exodus chapter 16 verse 8 moses said listen to me are you trembling against me moses also said you will know that it was the lord when he gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning because he has heard you grumbling against him who are we you are not grumbling against us but against the lord when you grumble against your wife when you grumble against your husband when you grumble remember you grumble against the lord it is sin it is sin nothing wrong nothing wrong if we complain with a good intention to help someone and in a very loving way but here moses says god has blessed you with manna with meat with 